Hey guys, this is in phase and today I'm going to be looking at several applications for S65 edition um, on my Samsung i8910. Uh, these are a couple of applications that I found that are pretty interesting. So this is the first in a series of videos that I'll be making to showcase some of the apps that I find. Uh, a lot of the applications that I'm going to be reviewing here are freeware uh, so you're free to download them so I just try them out for you. Uh, so th these are the best applications that I found for for these particular fields or interesting applications so um, enjoy. So the first application that I'm going to be demonstrating is a barcode reader. Um, so it's a 2D barcode reader so uh, for those of you who are not aware there are these barcode readers that uh, allow you to read uh, 2D barcodes so these can be found everywhere on the internet on certain products and stuff so this is an example of a barcode read a barcode that i have and this is an example of an application that reads these these barcodes so the application that i'm using for for this is called enigma so this is the application it's freeware free for download it works on s65 edition and x s60 uh 3rd edition as well so so there you have it so basically it just makes use of your camera so all you do is simply point your camera to whichever barcode so i'm going to do a live demonstration here um, of this barcode reader so hopefully it will not embarrass me so you basically just focus your camera on the barcode and it takes a little while and then it finds finds whatever website it is so in this case it's my new website so you've got option you've got the option to go online um, and it launches directly into your browser so this application is really useful you know especially if you just want to quickly download applications or just check some products or something or just convey certain information very quickly without um, without having to type it in with into your phone or anything so I've included uh, barcodes for each of the applications that I'm going to be reviewing here um, so that instead of having to connect your phone to a PC studio or whatever you you can just use this barcode application after you download it uh, so it's it's a really useful application and one of those applications that I cannot do without the next application that I'm going to look at is a file exploration application called Active File. So this is this was developed by Ali Tan, and it's completely free, and um, you can play around with it. So, so the the cool thing about the application, it's the best um, file explorer on S sixty fifth edition that I've seen, and on possibly S sixty third edition as well. There's a version that's compatible. So it uses these this panel system where it has two panels so in these different panels you can be in different locations mm -hmm. so the handy thing about this panel system is that you can easily move files around copy uh, paste move you know things like that so I'm gonna demonstrate a quick um, example of how you can make use of the panel system so for example there's a file in the e-drive that I want to move called Wikipedia uh, this Wikipedia widget into the C drive. So here I've navigated to the E drive. I switch to the second panel and I can navigate to the C drive, the location, the, the destination uh, where I want to copy the, the Wikipedia widget. So after I get into that location, the C drive, then I move on back to panel one. So I select the Wikipedia widget, then I click on options, files, and copy. So it asks you to confirm to C drive to copy to C drive, which is the second panel, and all you do is select yes, and automatically. Let me just refresh that. I scroll down to the bottom, and there's the Wikipedia widget. So um, this this application is very useful. Um, it's the best uh, file explorer. It's got tons of other features as well. Um, you can browse through your inbox. You can. It also has a task manager available on board. Um, it's got other features um, such as uh, battery monitor, uh, memory monitor, create fake SMS, 
uh, turn light on uh, the turn light on option unfortunately doesn't work uh, probably for it works for other Symbian models and stuff but uh, it doesn't work for the S64 for the Samsung i8910 but everything else works and despite that it's still the best uh, file explorer that I could possibly find and it's really cool so you should definitely check that out so next up I'm going to look at the Wikipedia widget which was um, released a few months ago uh, developed by a team so I've got the links for that so it's it's a simple Wikipedia um, widget application which basically formats the information on Wikipedia for you so instead of viewing the full Wikipedia website you have these these this customized view so I'll just search for um, say the Samsung i8910 so I can uh, show you like the the kind of formatting that um, is done by this by this widget application so it's really really useful uh, especially if you use Wikipedia and even if you don't you'll find yourself using it more and more because the it's really well formatted so it gives you several options here that you can choose from and you know it's got cool effects as you just saw and everything is properly formatted and you know it's just the right way um, you know and you can quickly browse through any information you've also got things like uh, you know related things uh, features so if if I scroll if I zoom backwards if I go back um, you can see some of the cool fading effects that come with this widget application so it's really really nice and it's completely free the source code is free as well so you can check that out and download it um, that's the Wikipedia widget a little free fun application that I found is uh, the fun torch application so this is it so it's it's basically a torch um, a torch uh, that's based on the screen just displaying different colors on the screen so this is the setup so you've got um, basically this this arrangement and you can select colors you can toggle through colors by selecting uh, by going across um, horizontally and then when you select uh, these vertical controls you choose the you select the you adjust the the intensity or the shade of whatever color it is so if you selected color for instance like this blue over here and you choose to have it it just the screen goes completely blue so you know it's it's a very very cool application uh, probably the most handy torch application that I've seen around so you can play around with um, all the colors so eventually um, you know they change to whatever color you like you know the the possibilities are limitless and it's it's a really really nice application an interesting uh, thing that you should try is to set this black color and um, observe it in the dark in complete darkness uh, the results are, are quite quite interesting so uh, this uh, fun torch from Smart, Smart uh, phoneware.com so that's freeware as well and you can download it I've got the links at my blog and also the uh, the barcode for that so you can check it out so um, so those are the applications that I'm going to look at uh, today but uh, if you have any suggestions any comments um, anything that you'd like to see me cover any interesting applications that you bump into uh, don't hesitate to drop drop me a line on the comments or uh, at my blog so you should check out my blog uh, I've just uh, updated the the website it's enphase.com so uh, please rate comment uh, subscribe and this is enphase signing out cheers